Fall is officially here, and you know what that means, pumpkin spice season. So today we're going to prepare two delicious pumpkin spice drinks. Since we live in Arizona and it's still over 100 degrees here, we're going to prepare a refreshing horchata. And for our neighbor states that are already experiencing cold mornings, we're going to prepare a pumpkin spice atole. To prepare both recipes, we're going to need one cup of long grain white rice. Soak the rice with one stick of cinnamon and one and a half cups of hot water. You can also plan ahead and soak the rice in cold water in the refrigerator overnight. Cover and soak for two to three hours. Transfer the rice, the water, and the cinnamon stick to the blender. We're also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, and one cup of your favorite pumpkin puree. Blend on high for a good minute or until everything is well broken down and it's nice and smooth. Using a fine mesh strainer, strain it into a pitcher. For a smoother consistency, you can also place a cheesecloth over the strainer. Pour the ingredients from the blender into the strainer and add 6 cups of water to the blender to get the remainder of the residue that's stuck to the side of the blender. Cover and give it a good shake. Pour the water into the strainer a little bit at a time and move the contents around until all the liquid has gone through the strainer. Continue to add the water into the strainer and move the contents around until all you have left is the rice residue. Don't discard of the rice residue because this is what we're going to use to prepare the atole. But first we're going to finish to prepare the horchata. Add one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. For sweetener, I'm going to add one 14 ounce can of condensed milk. You can also add sugar or a sweetener of your choice. And the last ingredient, three cups of whole milk. Mix the ingredients until everything is well incorporated. With the amount of ingredients we used, we made almost one gallon of horchata. Refrigerate while we prepare the atole. In a medium saucepan, add two cups of water, add in the rice residue, and mix it in with the water. Mix in half a cup of pumpkin puree, one can of evaporated milk, four cups of whole milk, a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of sugar or a sweetener of your choice. You can also substitute the milk with milks of your choice. Whisk the ingredients and bring to a simmer over medium heat. Simmer over low medium heat for about 5 to 7 minutes with frequent movement or until it reaches a light thickness. If it's too thick, you can adjust the thickness by adding more milk. Enjoy the horchata over lots of ice and sprinkle both drinks with a little bit of cinnamon. Now the hard part is deciding which one we want to try first. Since the weather is still a little hot, I'm going to go ahead and try the horchata. Both of these recipes were absolutely delicious. I highly recommend you try both of them. And if you do, let me know how you like them in the comments. And enjoy!